Okay, so we're moving fast in this video series. So next is a very short intro to flows, which I've mentioned before, uh, but just to summarize again. So flows allow splitting complex dialogue into multiple sub conversations. So how does that help us? It's basically a tool to manage complexity. So it will simplify the maintenance um, by neatly, cleanly splitting up a complex dialogue into different parts. And then if you know, okay, I want to I want to change one part of the conversation, you can just work on your one flow and be sure that the other parts are not touched. Um, as an example, this I just copied from the dialogue flow CX um, documentation. So for an order bot, for example, what it could look like is that you have the start flow, which is the opening conversation, welcome. Next thing you grab the customer information, name, delivery address, uh, whatever. Then you have the part of the conversation that is actually ordering the food, adding drinks, etc. And in the end, you have a conversation flow uh, and that's it. And then you have basically uh, split up your conversation into components. Um, how it can also help you to manage complexity is that uh, different people, developers could work on different flows of the conversation. And you know that you're not going to get in each other's way if you divide it up like that. And that's something that wasn't possible in uh, Dialogflow ES because I've, yeah, all the parts of the conversations always were really tightly coupled. So yeah. What else? A couple of more points. Um, so each agent must have at least one flow. So there's always the default start flow. I showed you a couple of videos before. Each flow starts with the default start page. So that's always there. That's where the conversation starts and it always ends with the end flow page. And also flows can have flow level event handlers. That's something I'm going to briefly mention, but uh, there will be another video Actually, the next video, I will go more into event handlers because it's a bit more complex again as a topic. But I would say let's just go ahead and add a another flow to the bot that we just created, the breakfast bot. So what I did previously was creating a bot that welcomes the user, asks if they want coffee, then asks if they want breakfast. So Basically, looking at this example, that was the food order part. So now I'm just going to go to the confirmation part. I'm not going to actually implement all of this. I just want to demo how to move to another flow. So create another flow. And yeah, so this one will be um, not directly confirmation, but it will be about delivery. So then if we select that again, we have another start, um, another start uh, page and I will I'll create one page here, which will be uh, eat in or take away. Previous uh, similar as I did previously, I will just add condition true so that it doesn't matter what happens here. It goes straight from the start into the next page. Now there's other ways to do it. I could also uh, add my intent here and ask in this start page, uh, do you want to eat in or take away? But I don't find it very clean because the name of the page is just start. So it's hard to see then in the in the visual builder what this is about. So what I prefer to do is just um, handing it over here to the next page in this case. Okay, transition routes updated. Now we see that the connection here was made. My page has arrived. Um, just for demo purposes, I will just say, would you like to eat in or take away and so what we would do next is create uh, intense checking if someone wants to eat in or take away obviously and then we would finish the conversation but this is just to demo the flows 
So all I want to show you is how to move from one flow to the next. So in this case, remember, if someone doesn't want coffee, we end the flow and then also the conversation is over in this case. But if someone adds a breakfast, successfully orders a breakfast, then we don't, we're missing the last step here. We're missing the transition. So what I can do now is instead of transitioning to a page, I can just transition to the delivery flow and then I hope that everything works and we can uh, move from one flow to the next. So I would like some coffee and then I will order some toast. Great choice. This is still coming from the breakfast page here. And then we can see that it actually is successfully transitioned into the next flow, which is also indicated here, delivery, eat in or take away. Now I said that I wanted to just show you or mention one other thing, which is um, handlers. So in the next video, we're going to go into more depth about handlers, but I said each each flow can have a, a handler. So what, what does that mean? So you, or an event handler more specifically. So you can see here that there's uh, two default event handlers for when there's no no answer found that matches. So if I say hi and yes, I want some coffee. So basically now I'm in the breakfast um, page. Uh, but what you will see is that these event handlers still act as the fallback because they're set on a flow wide level. So if I just say something like gibberish, um, this uh, no match default kicks in. So one more time, that's one of the answers here. So yeah, we'll talk about this more in the next video.